Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Plan Grid. This video is going to be a walkthrough of everything you will find in Plan Grid and how you can use it. This is not going to be like 40 minute video in which you will learn every single thing in Plan Grid. This is something like introduction, I would name it. So first thing first, what I'm going to do, I will click sign up on the top right. Then I will add my name here. I will add my email address and password and sign up then voila here we have uh, our own projects when you're gonna enter and now what you can actually do is two things you can go on the top right and create a new project but we are going to use our sample project so I can teach you everything but on the right top is a new project here I'm going to add a project name let's say office address you're just gonna add location, I don't know, Calgary, project status, you just choose if it's in progress, active, construction, bidding, complete, other. I can go like, let's say construction, and then I'm gonna see the project dates here, let's say 1st to 31st of May. Create a project. And voila, here we go. Now I will go back to our sample. So this is how we can create a project. I will go back to our sample project so I can show you everything right here. Now, what you will find when you will get to the, uh, your project first, you're going to see home in which you would see your timeline. Add days to see progress, then project links. I will show you this theme, project work of tasks. We will get to it too. And then if you're going to have a team, you would have like team updates. And this is like just for you, uh, the weather. So you see how the weather is on the side now and activity on the right side. When we're going to enter, I'm going to zoom in more so you can see everything. First thing first, sheets. This is the most important thing of whole plan grid. So on a sheets, you can upload your own. Okay, and then uh, you're gonna have like is soon dates version set name, and then or like existing version next, and you just like upload it. So this is how you upload the sheets if you have them. Now I'm going to show you how you can use those sheets if you're gonna have it right here. So you can simply click on a sheet. On here you can see that there are like two versions. No post markups as published markups or if there are any documents. So I'm going to click on it. And voila, here we go. So what I can actually do, I can simply with a wheel on mouse, zoom in and zoom out. Or I can use buttons here. I can center it. So that's what you can do. And on the right side, you're going to see like the line here that you can create. Then you can add a cloud. You can have multi select here. So, why? How does it work? So, I gotta see. Opa. Delete. Delete forever. So let's say that I'm going to have a circle here. Then I'm going to have a cloud here. What I can do is to click multi select and have multi select here and I can delete it forever if I want to. So then what you can do is to simply add an arrow, pretty straightforward. And as you can see, you can always change colors here. So I'm going to have a blue arrow right now. Then on the right side, I can simply draw with a pen. Then I can highlight something. So let's say that I would just highlight this part here. Like this here, completely up to you. You can add a text on the right side. This is a text. And as you can see, we have it right here. 
<clears throat> so that's what you can do. Then on the right side, you're going to see, as I mentioned, the object shapes. So that's something you can do. And then you have like link menu here. And you can actually choose the link. So let's say there was going to be some folder, some document, and you would just link type to the document and you would upload the document and then someone can just like click through it or RFI. So that's something you can do too. And then you got the calibration menu. So that's something you can do too. And then you can have like metric here. And then you can add a stamp, right? Clearly needed, or you can choose different stamp status. If it's open in review, pending, closed type. Again, you choose that assign to watching location, start date, due date. And again, you can even change the stamp in a stamp menu. If it's going to be electrical. And you can edit to list if it's a damage design items and others and click save. So electrical, voila, here we got it. And this is what you can actually do to go further. Let's X. You can add a camera markup. Again, you can add a title or I can add it everywhere I want. And this is pretty much it, how you can use it, right? On right top, you're gonna see like it's a sheet to compare. Then you can simply download it, export it, filter it, or find a sheet info here on the top right. Or we can simply jump to sheet and then switch bit between multiple sheets. So that's what you can do too, if you want to. So this is pretty much it, how it works on Plan Green and how the sheets works. This is what was like like street introduction. Uh, if you want any help, just let me down in the comments and I will explain it. The next thing that I'm going to show you are tasks. In a task, you can simply create a task. You see that we got plenty of tasks here. And now you're just gonna enter the title and I can name it, let's say, new task. Status, you can have it as open, in review, pending or close. Let's say open. And this is type of issue, planned work or other. Then you can assign it to someone. Then you can have like watching. This is like the spectator of the task. Location, which location is going to be in. So new task is going to be in the kitchen or reception main hall. And then we have a start date and due date. Uh, creating tasks is really effective for tasking if you're gonna have like employees. Start date and due date. Stamp again. Let's say I'm going to visit door or electric or you're gonna choose it what you want. Then you're gonna see like list here. Damage sheet, like which sheet is this task assigned to and like okay kitchen so i can have it like here like i just like just for the sake of the tutorial it's going to be right here and i just pointed down the task which is going to be in this sheet then we're gonna see the root cause a description and then we have like cost impact here and schedule impact let's click create and voila here we have a new task so this is pretty much it how we can create tasks then what you can do is to simply uh, edit those tasks in as a status change the type assign to etc then what we got next is RFIs and here you can have like filtering here that you're gonna see like lock here if you want to then you have a field report. None. You can simply create a new report. And then you have like templates here that you can use. Daily report. And then I would add work log, materials, equipment, signature notes. Then we're going to see documents here. 
and I can add a new document. I can upload the files or create a new folder. By uploading a file, I can upload some important documents which are necessary for the work. Then we have photos here. So if I have some photos of construction, etc., um, like I can have it right here. And then I can assign those photos to my uh, sheets. Team is pretty straightforward. In team, I can add a team members. So that's what you can do. And then we have settings as the last thing. So you can edit that and then it will like export here. So this is pretty much it, how you can use it. Thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.